Okay, it's life has taken a 180 degree turn yeah. in terms of not just work opportunities but also the kind of love and adulation I've received. We are celebrating the silver jubilee, you know, yeah. and these are these are things which we'd only seen in newspapers, <laughs> or only of. heard of. I want to go out there, represent the common man, yeah. uh, tell stories that have that human experience, that human touch. Vidusa was very particular about the fact that you're not supposed to imitate uh, Shraddha yeah. Ma'am or Manoj sir. But I think rather than knowing what to do, one major Asset that Vinod sir has is knowing what not to do. Cinema is is the director's medium, yeah, yeah. and and you have to serve his vision yes. at the end of the day. True. There yes. is one quote on Vidhu sir's of in Vidhu sir's office only. Director's indecision is the final decision. <laughs> I kind of take my time and I take my solitude very seriously and come back to who I am, to my roots. Today we sit in a position of privilege. You know, wanted to act in movies. Here we are working with some of the best people. Uh, but the idea is to go out there and represent the common man and not to misuse your privilege. You know, I have just tasted box office success. You know, that was not the case six months ago. Uh, once you've worked with Vidhu Vinod Chopra, sir, after you rap is actually when you truly realize how much you've grown as an actor and as a human being. Hi, this is Sheetal and you are watching Pink Villa. When I say inspiration, the two names that resonate with me are Vikrant and Medha. Not just for their hard work and dedication, that's of course the deal with them, but also for their humbleness and perseverance that they come with. So let's welcome them. Hi. Hi. How Thank are you, you doing? So much. Very well, very well. Thank you. <laughs> you know, firstly, big, big congratulations to you from Thank the bottom of, my, bottom of my heart. Thank it's you been so much. Amazing. Thank you so much. It was so kind of you. That is so kind of you. Yes. You know, I just want to start off by asking uh, 25 weeks, it's a lot of time, right? Mm -hmm. For you guys, what has changed from the time of release to now? Since it's my first film, everything has changed. <laughs> it's life has taken a 180 degree turn mm -hmm. in terms of not just work opportunities, but also the kind of love and adulation I've received from uh, the fraternity and audiences and everybody. So, yeah, I'm enjoying the moment. <laughs> and for you, Vikram? Yeah, I mean, like Medha just said it, I think, you know, the love, the respect and adulation, you know, the blessings that are coming our way, I think it's it's something that makes us feel so grateful for, for everything that we have. Uh, people have really lapped on to the film, they've loved the film, they've recommended the film. Uh, despite, uh, you know, the film already being available online, the yes. film is still, still running. running in yeah. cinema halls. And we are celebrating the silver jubilee, you know. Yeah. And these are these are things which we'd only seen in newspapers, <laughs> or only of. heard of, you know. Amitabh Bachchan ki film, uh, you know. Uh, chal rahi hai. Chal rahi hai. Uh. Cinema <laughs> mein chal rahi hai. And also in an age and time when all of us unfortunately have lesser attention spans, mm. uh, for a film to do so well. I think it's it's a massive feather on our caps. It says something, right? Yeah. You yeah. know, when you say this, I want to ask you, did you anticipate this kind of a response? Kuch to socha hoga, right? Movie banate wak ki logon ko pasand aayega, nahi aayega. See, I'll tell you, this is my first film and I aim for the moon, okay? Right. So my, uh, my expectations are always high only. And I remember when we were shooting, I think in the middle of the shoot is when I had a very strong intuition that this is going to be massive. Okay. But the kind of response they've gotten, of course, has surpassed every possible yeah. imagination that I had related to the film. You, you don't have expected it to be this level. This right? list has yeah. gone beyond universe also. Yeah. What moon? <laughs> and for you, Vikram? It's the same. Like, we always knew uh, Vinod sir and I would chat and all of us would chat and you know, sir would always, always say, Ki, Vikrant, I think we have a good film on our hands, uh, which we all very firmly believed in. But you actually cannot uh, sort of anticipate such things you know you can just go out there do your work uh, having said that we knew that we made a good film but we honestly did not anticipate to live or experience the silver jubilee as i said you know lesser attention spans there are so many movies coming every week for us in an, especially in metro cities you know multiplexes i mean didn't anticipate this you know i want to ask you as actors not just for this movie but any other movie when you are reading a script, right? What is the primary element that you look for? I'm sure like the script is very, very important, but aisa kuch ki iske wajah se main ye movie karungi. Aisa kuch aapke dimag mein? I personally feel when I read a script, if the story has moved me in a big way, 
whether it's mo moved me like it's made me emotional or it's made me I've related to it on a on an emotional level. I think that somebody else will also relate to it and it will also move somebody else and my primary goal in life as an actor is to move people and to sort of heal them by moving them uh, so for me that is that one human experience yeah. that that, that, that connection yeah. with that story is uh, what i focus on yeah, i think it's the same uh, it i <clears throat> i want to go out there represent the common man yeah. uh, tell stories that have that human experience that human touch you know uh, it could be interpersonal relationships it could be anything uh, but it has to have that human connect and yeah that's where it begins and then there are a lot of other permutations and combinations that come into play like who you're working with who's directing you who's written it you know what do you want to do with the film like what do you what's your aspiration with the film but to begin with to give my initial nod you know or express my desire to work on that i think it has to have a human story yeah and you know uh, when you say this do you ever feel that ki you might get stereotyped because i'll tell you what i also had a conversation with another actor who was also doing tv before mm -hmm. they gone into movies mm. and they're like i even though i'm still doing movies now i'm still considered as a tv actor yeah. and this is not just one stereotype right yeah. you have things like okay she's a south actor she's a north yeah. actor as a bahut stereotype hota hai yeah. and mm. nowadays you get to see that okay vikrant can do he does method acting so he might not do commercial films just a massy movies and all of that so kabhi aapko lagta hai ki yaar he is only massy <laughs> and it can't get massier than 12th right, field right yeah. yeah i mean the kind of reception the film has received i think it's outrightly commercial yeah. so uh, a lot of a lot of these preconceived notions are generally from the outside from people who have an idea of what this world or the world of filmmaking is like so but within the fraternity i don't think i've been glad people haven't typecast me yet almost 20 years down in this business but you know <laughs> thank you uh, people still uh, you know expect a certain amount of quality when i'm attached so uh, i haven't been typecast yet so I, i i really don't know because i don't think on those lines those lines yeah uh, I have done a Mirzapur which is a cult classic. Yeah. I have also done a film like A Death in the Ganj which is a cult classic in a different way. Yeah. Uh so I mean nobody actually knows, you know. Like even even the ones posing this question really don't have an idea yeah. entirely. True. So uh, yeah, I think it's yeah. we hope that it's yeah. never going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. Too, yeah. You know, uh ek hota hai ki you have a fictional character and you make a back story in your head that yeah. okay this character is in this way and i'm going to act in a certain way but when you're you know portraying someone else uh, inspired from a true story wo thoda pressurizing ho jata hai ki i need to be as perfect as they are yeah. you know in that portrayal so how what are the challenges for both of you while playing your respective roles so i'll begin by telling you that vidu sir was very particular about the fact that you're not supposed to imitate uh, shraddha yeah. ma'am or manoj sir yeah. so you have to take inspiration from who they are but also kind of make your own character okay. yeah. so my homework was to of course have extensive chats with vidhu sir based mm -hmm. on what he thinks shraddha is like uh, and then sit with shraddha ma'am and take notes to understand who she is yeah. on a deeper level beyond the script and then also add a lot of meta into it mm -hmm. and then also add like whatever i perceive of the character but yes like you said when it's a real person there is always that added pressure because yeah. you have to make them happy at least you know so from the very beginning my uh, goal was clear that i have just one responsibility i have to make vidhu sir proud because he's believed in me and given yeah. me this stuff and make manoj sir and shraddha ma'am proud because it's their story so i want them to watch it and feel that oh she's done a, she's great, done job. a great job i relate yeah. to her she's my shraddha and i am this girl so and i think that's happened yes it has <laughs> so, definitely has <laughs> so i'm just very happy yeah for you i think she said it you know the idea was not to impersonate them uh, the idea was to understand them understand uh, what they are like uh, but the but the universal nature of manoj sir's story uh, you know it th there was already a groundwork laid out there which would resonate with most of the people because it it is the india story yeah. you know and there are hundreds and millions of people like him so the idea was to make it my own uh and as medha said not impersonate him uh, make the character my own in tandem with vinod sir's vision so it's a mix and match there are too many permutations and combinations yeah 
you know when you say this uh, just out of curiosity i wanted to know do you guys get self critical because you know once the movie is released and then you're like gosh main ye aise kar pata yeah yeah absolutely especially Both in hindsight yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> most people i think you know in my case i definitely i in fact just a while back i was saying yeah. there are so many scenes i go back to and i'm like are yaar i even now I, you think yeah, like yeah, that yeah. after this response yeah oh i mean that's that's very personal you know i mean yeah. you know ऐसा नहीं है कि वो करने से कुछ और हो जाता आई थिंक यू नो एवरीथिंग दैट इज हैपनिंग विद ट्वेल्व फेल इज इज अनप्रीसीडेंटेड बट जस्ट फॉर योर ओन सेल्फ यू नो यू ग्रोथ या यू नो इन हाइन साइड यू लुक बैक एट थिंग्स Wow, can't believe that, but okay. नहीं नहीं होता है यार होता है. Your school boyfriend is very little, huh? Just by the way, you're already I'm, on hundred or hundred. नहीं 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 नहीं. No no. I agree no. with you. Even <laughs> for you, for that matter. Yeah, right, but yeah. I'm just starting out. But <laughs> yeah, so in hindsight, you look back and you want to better it. But then, yeah, I mean, that's the case with most of us, I mm, think. Yeah. yeah. You know this chemistry that the two of you have. What was the icebreaker like when you met for the first time? Like, how did you meet? Yeah, yeah. What was the first thing you told her? I was completely floored by her talent. You know, the first time I met her was during her audition, mm -hmm. and I tested with her. You know, two, three critical scenes we did, and the sincerity that she she brought as an actor. You know, and I I could actually just just by looking into her eyes, I gauged that okay, you know, she's. actually done a homework and come you know she's not just one of those actors who's come unprepared wo mujhe lag raha tha inki aankhon mein dekh ke ki ye puri raat baith ke taiyari karke aayi hai and that sort of naturally broke the ice because you know i i i kind of appreciate you know people like her and the moment we started acting in front of the camera it 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 just flowed pretty naturally and and yeah and then it just Kept getting better with yeah. time, and was seen on the screen as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. No, but uh, Vikrant was always very kind to me, and he would throughout the shoot he would keep asking me, "Okay, do you want something? You know, you can talk to me about anything if you want to break down a scene or something." So he's been very kind since day one. And yeah. the first time I met him, uh, I don't think my intention was to break the ice with him. <laughs> my intention was to clear the audition. <laughs> so that time I was not breaking ice with anybody. Yeah. I was like, listen, I have to do this job correctly so that I get the part. I wasn't even breaking ice with Sidhu sir. <laughs> I was like, let's do my job, get this part, and yeah. then go home. There'll be ample of time to do uh, that. Then later. I'll do all the bra yeah. ice breaking later. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was a Vidhu sir uh, screen test, so he was so incredibly nice to me, kind yeah. to me, uh, and Vikrant was very quiet. I was very, it was a very, very proper Vidhu sir set. Even the screen test was yeah. very proper, so everyone was just doing their job and all of that. I think we kind of broke the ice and we did a camera test, yeah. which was with the camera test. And yeah. once I was logged for the part, and then because you're just supposed to chit chat and chit -chat. do rubbish, yeah. and then camera is testing you, so we spoke at length for like yeah. hours. Yeah. That's when we Spend kind of spent an entire day. Entire day just chit. -chat. Chatting. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's when I think we broke the ice. Yeah, yeah. so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Vidhu sir is a visionary, right? Yeah. Any of his movies that you take, he has this knack of just knowing what the audience wants. You know. Mm. So while I say that, I want to ask the two of you: Has there been a time when you had a creative conflict? Because mm -hmm. see, vision to hota hai. Aapke liye bhi aapka character ka vision thoda alag hi hota hai. So conflict, not in a negative way, yeah. in a nice way. I'm asking yeah. you. So what would you do then? Yeah. So I really just want to put this out there that. See, Vikrant is Vikrant. He has a lot of credibility to his name. Okay, no, honestly, yeah. I, whoever I am, I'm, I'm very confident who I am as an actor. But I'm still a very new actor. But the amount of importance Vidhu sir has given to my opinions yeah. on a particular, I cannot even tell you how I would feel after a day's work. Feel like. Why am I getting so much izzat? Like a new actor is not asked for their opinion so much, and also by a 71-year-old legendary filmmaker. Yeah. So this is something I it's secret to me the fact that the amount of importance he's given to my opinions, and uh, there have been not conflicts like you yeah. said there all there's always one way of looking at a scene exactly, and uh, there have been moments where I would say sir sir I want to do it like this. and he's like no you don't come prepared in your head so he used to always have this ki you don't pre decide pre meditate on yeah. it if it naturally happens to you it happens to yeah. you so uh, that is something where we would have that conversation and then but he's very open to improvisations so a lot of times he's improvised a lot of times i have improvised i improvised my screen test only and he was he was so appreciative of that so he's very open to things if it makes sense to him if he likes it he will tell you oh do it again in the next scene in the next day If he doesn't like it, I know he dropped this. Don't yeah. have to do this. So he's very open to that. Uh, 
and also he's very appreciative if you bring something, something of your else, own yeah. he's yeah he's but it takes game. a lot to be open to feedback also right Sometimes. that's what i'm saying yeah. a 71 year legendary filmmaker letting you give your opinion asking for your opinion and giving it importance mm. it's i have never heard of that Mm-hmm. Yeah, no major conflict as such, but you know, l- like you said, I think rather than knowing what to do, one major asset that Vinod sir has is knowing what not to do. Ah, that's true. You know, true. and that's his experience, his life experience, yeah. his his experience as a filmmaker, and <clears throat> and both of us are pretty alike. Yeah. You know, one reason why Vinod sir and I gel so well, gel <laughs> so well is yeah. because we are pretty alike right. as people. So yeah, I mean, there, there were moments when there would be constructive uh, criticism and discussion about things. But I think by the end of it, an actor's primary job, once you're on board, is to completely surrender to the director's vision. You know, there are days when you walk onto a set and you later realize that okay, you are not clicking with the director. Maybe you know, after four days of work or five days of work, but because you've committed yourself to it, the idea is to go out there and do what the director wants. that that i see it that way and i aspire to do things that way glad here it worked out with him there are there are days when there you have torrid experiences but the idea is to still go out there and surrender to what yeah. your director wants yeah. and at the end of the day it all yeah. works out for the best it is the director's yeah. medium you know yeah. i think cinema is is the director's medium yeah, yeah. and and you have to serve his vision yes. at the end of the True. day his yeah. or her vision whoever yeah. whoever it is you have to have to serve their there there is one quote on vidhu sir's of in vidhu sir's office only director's indecision is the final decision yeah. which i love oh, that <laughs> even if it's indecision yeah. you listen yeah. to the director, the director. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but how do you as actors choose the directors you want to work with because you know uh, I, i cannot say that you know a director can be a good director or a bad director because it's a very wrong term to use but wo ek hota hai na ki acha inka picture acha hoga hi So how do you judge as actors? I want to understand. I mean, it begins as fanboys to begin with. You know, there are yeah. as as you have a list. Ki inke saath yeah, inke saath kam karna hai. You know, there are so many directors you want to work with, but uh, not every time you are in a position to be accessible to them and and end up making you know a movie with them or working with them. Uh, in fact, even today it's the other way around. You know, there there are writers and directors who want to work with you, and if they so happen to be the ones you also aspire to work with, yeah. then nothing like it. 12th fail being the case yeah. you know uh but yeah i think it's again too many permutations and combinations so there are directors you have your own wish list ki inke sath life mein ek bar kaam karna hai but aisa nahi hai ki you you know you do reach out to them you do know each other also sometimes but unless and until the right script happens mm-hmm. you know i don't think you collaborate until then yeah, yeah. I'm too new, so I'm not in a position to be like this. But I'm sure you have a wish list, right? Of yeah, course, of course, I do. I and really pray to work with these people that, that I that are on my list, and I'm just hoping that things will work out. Like you said, uh, you do now. I do have access to people, so I am in a position to send in a message saying, "Yeah, I would love to work with yeah. you, sir." So. But that's all you can do, right? Yeah. Beyond the point, it's then if it's in your destiny, you It'll will happen. get a chance to yeah. work with them. Yeah. If not, then some other time. So, you know. Uh, there's this common word that is probably perceived in different ways that is insiders and outsiders right yeah yeah and it's also sometimes you feel that the audience uh as much as they love and respect an outsider it's a little different for an insider just for that one reason that they might be a star kid or whatever right but i want to understand from you since you both come from such humble backgrounds what is that one thing that has stayed with you during your struggle days and even now after getting such a massive success on 12th day from our struggling days yeah there must be something that you think ki i'm never going to maybe it's probably an ethic that you follow mm. or something inside you that's going to stay with you till whenever i think when the noise gets too loud mm-hmm. i take my i step away i think i need my solitude from time to time to sort of recalibrate and bring myself back to myself because as an actor you're not just an artist like how much ever i just want to be a pure actor and pure artist and only step out of my house when i have to act you also have to do 10 other things right yes. events public appearances this that and that may not come very natural to you mm-hmm. as a person so when sometimes all of that gets too much for you i kind of take my time and i take my solitude very seriously and come back to who i am to my roots uh, yeah that's how well put actually yeah <laughs> for you vikrant it's a pretty tough question yeah you know the idea is to not misuse your privilege today we sit in a position of privilege yeah 
you know, wanted to act in movies. Here we are working with some of the best people. Uh, but the idea is to go out there and represent the common man and not to misuse your privilege, not to, and probably, to put it in very simple words, not to, not to sort of, uh, because it's such, such an influential, uh, uh, like give out some wrong messaging to the audience. Not, not necessarily that, you know, I mean, as actors, you also do not want to restrict yourself because there mm. are hundreds and millions and different kinds of people out yeah. there. But, but the thing is to not misuse your privilege in a way, to not take it for granted, granted. to begin with. Yeah. You know, you, you aspired to be here where you are and not get complacent, not go out there and even for a moment believe that, okay, you know, now I'm here, now I have this, you know, so now we do this. The idea is to be as honest and yeah. as, as hardworking as you can at that point in time. So, not to take it for granted. It's not to take it for granted. Yeah, yeah I would add like Vidhu sir keeps yeah. telling me, don't non-corrupt is one yeah. word he keeps repeating. Yeah. And he keeps yeah. telling me because it's my first film. Yeah. Yeah. So he's just afraid that I don't know what I'll become. But <laughs> So he keeps telling me, he uses this word non, which basically means you retain the purity of purity, an actor yes. that you have, Absolutely. which is very rare. That is look, one yeah. one very basic example would be not to sort of just go out there and do a movie for the heck of money. Yes. You know, if I get money, I do it. I don't think I can do that. It doesn't come naturally to yeah. me. In fact, that was my next question actually. Mm -hmm. As actors, you know, uh, you as you mentioned, it's a director's vision and you have to serve them, right? Mm -hmm. And then you get, say, we'll call it a salary. Like yeah. and everybody yeah. else yeah. here yeah. gets a salary, yeah. right? But when once you start getting commercial success, how important is those box office numbers to you as actors? Does it does your next project depend on that? The, just want to understand. Ah, no, yar. I, for me at least, it, that's not how it is. You know, I have just tasted box office success. You know, that was not the case six months ago. Yeah. So a lot of what I have been doing, I've retained that, and I hope I aspire to retain that. You know, going forward. Uh, it's great. It, it definitely is an impetus for you to better yourself, you yeah. know, because people have shelled out their hard-earned money to go to the theatres and watch you. But does that dictate my future decisions? I don't think so. Uh, the way I choose my script, the way the way I, I go out there and perform in front of the camera, mm. between action and cut remains more or less the same. Yeah. Yeah. Because they usually say, right, uh, an actor's journey is from a Friday to Friday. So yeah. that's why it's like yeah. that. You know, if you have to talk about working with uh, VVC, Vidu yeah. sir. If you had to describe it in one line, what would you say? Because I, to, I can imagine the sets pe kaisa hota tha, kitna maza aata tha while you know working together and with obviously you worked with the real aspirants as yes. well, right? Yes. So how would you describe one that? One sentence, it's two left. <laughs> uh, just in like one sentence, if I had to encapsulate everything, I would say uh, once you've worked with Vidhu Vino Chopra, sir, after you rap is actually when you truly realize how much you've grown as an actor and as a human being. And I keep repeating the word, the human being that he makes of you is because he values the right things in a person. Because this has been my journey in the industry. I've been here for five years, six years, and now it's only now that I've gotten this film. So there've been times where I was told that, okay, you know, shouldn't be this way or you're too mm. naive or whatever. whatever. Yeah. And somebody like a Vidhu sir appreciates the same honesty in you that somebody else must have said, you know, this is not going to work huh, in this industry. Mm. So Correct. I truly yeah. appreciate that part of Vidhu sir. What he's, he's really reinstated my faith in the value system that I was grown up with. So that is something that's truly, truly special for me. Wow, that's amazing. That was one there was more than a line, yeah. but I'll still take it. Good <laughs> 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 run for you. Uh, one sentence for for Vinod sir would be that uh, he is extremely erudite in life. He is so experienced, whether it is you know on a shooting set or off a shooting set. Uh, I have been very lucky to see different sides of him. I've, I've I've seen him as a husband. I've seen him as a father. I've seen him as a mentor, as a friend, and. Uh, so I think yeah he's extremely erudite. He's he's a rarity. He's someone who's extremely wise, and someone I really really cherish. Yeah. Mera bhi ek sentence is <laughs> It can't be one. Para para yes. Yes. Para para para. But I completely understand, yes. right? But uh, once again, a big congratulations Thank to both you. of you. Thank you, Shri. I can't wait for 
for me to see more of your work. Whether together it will be amazing. I'm manifesting <laughs> for that. So. Yeah, yeah, like you, uh, Medha, and BBC sir. Right? Yes, <laughs> another kick-ass combination that we can't see, uh, can't wait to see on screen. Thank you, Shweta. Thank you. Yeah, all the very best for everything Thank that you. we do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Wish you, you the same. Thank Wish you, you so same. much. Hi guys, I'm Vikrant Massey. Hi, I'm Medha Shankar. And you're watching us on Pink Villa.